Hi, my name is Anthony. I'm with In Charge Electric, and I'm here to answer any of your general questions before you choose a home standby generator generator for your home. A whole home generator is a generator that supports every outlet and appliance in your home. It may not be able to power everything at the exact same time, but the concept of a whole home generator is that every outlet in your home has the capability of being utilized. You don't have to separate between one room only or two rooms. If you wanted to plug a lamp into an outlet that you normally don't use, it would still have that capability. When I describe how a generator works in automatic mode, I like to describe a kid the day after Halloween hyped up on candy. The generator wants to spring into action and power up your home. However, it's your utility power that actually tells it not to operate. So when that utility power or the parent gets out of the way, your generator is free to be like a kid hopped up on candy to do whatever it wants, which is power up your home. As soon as utility power goes away, your generator turns on on its own, verifies the power that it's putting out is good, and then begins the transfer sequence to apply that power from the generator onto your house. In my personal experience, I have heard of a home standby generator accumulating over 2,000 hours of runtime. Is that feasible for every generator? Probably not. However, the manufacturer's warranty is up to 10 years, which should ensure you that your generator is made to last for at least 10 years. In a single outage, you should turn your generator off within every 24 hours to give it a moment to rest, double check the oil, and then you can put it right back on if all those levels look good. So to answer your question, you should expect your generator to last 10 years, and it can easily handle a 24 hour outage without being shut down or monitored. Sizing a generator is a delicate balance between what the house can accept as well as how the customer will use it. Generac is kind enough to provide us a generator sizing guide that we utilize to input different loads, washing machine, dryer, refrigerator, HVAC into, to give us a rough idea of where to start. And then we have a conversation with the homeowner to see how that home is gonna be utilized. Obviously a house with 10 people inside of it is gonna use a lot more electricity than a house with two people in it. So we wanna have that conversation with you to ensure that you are sized correctly for your personal needs. A whole home generator is completely hands-off to the user, with the exception of shutting it down once a day in an extended outage. If you are home awake, home sleeping, or off on vacation in Hawaii, if you use, lose utility power, your generator will turn on automatically, transfer power to the house, and when utility power comes back, it will do the exact opposite by transferring back to utility power and turn the generator off and be ready to go for the next outage. In the event that you don't have a home standby, and utilize a portable generator, that portable generator has to be manually started and the transfer of the power to your, from your generator to your house has to be manually initiated. You also most likely will not be aware when utility power comes back unless you see your neighbor has power and then you know to manually transfer back as well as turn the generator off. So in that example I gave you of being home and awake, home and asleep, or on vacation in Hawaii, the automatic home standby generator has to cover for all three of those. However, only one of those, home and awake, will you be able to get your generator set up if you go the portable route. A transfer switch is a device that we use to interface your generator, your home, and the power grid together. It's utilized to transfer from grid power to generator power during an outage. And it also prevents any back feeding from the generator to go onto the grid which could cause potential harm to the workers working on it. Uh, the manufacturer Generac has set forth uh, certain requirements to maintain your warranty, as well as the safe operation of your generator. It works on two different principles, one being calendar time, as well as run hours. The engine oil that comes with your generator is mineral-based break-in oil. It needs to be replaced after 25 hours of use or two years of it being operational. So at that point is when we do our first oil change. After that, the oil we use is synthetic and it is good for 200 operational hours or two years of elapsed time. The other items that we use for maintenance are air filter, oil filter, battery, and spark plugs. One key item that some generators have are called mechanical valves. 
Those mechanical valves require constant adjustment at their operation. That is the most crucial part that separates a trained technician from a capable homeowner. It's critical for your engine to operate properly as well as maintaining the health and longevity of your generator. One key item that a homeowner should definitely be aware of is this LED triclops right here. As you can see, this generator has a green LED which indicates the generator is very satisfied and happy with its operation and is ready to back up the home. If we were to see an error code come up on the generator where it wasn't ready, it would be red like it is now. This is when you call a certified technician like InCharge Electric to come take a look at your generator. A very common cause for an alarm that a customer encounters is the 2800 code auxiliary shutdown. This involves a switch in the back of the generator that may have got bumped accidentally and is needs to be reset to the current position. This switch in the back has the one depressed in. There's a switch inside also that needs the one depressed in. And when you do that, you wanna press the off button, the escape button, and the enter button. At that point in time, you can hear a click in the controller and it says push to restart in automatic mode. And you just press the green button, ready to run, and you are good to go. From start to finish, InCharge Electric is more than happy to help you with your generator purchasing questions and needs. We begin by a phone call to answer any immediate concerns you may have. We set up a free in-home consultation or virtual if you prefer it that way. We shake hands, we introduce ourselves, we give you a reason to trust us and want to do business with us by providing you detailed and accurate answers to all your questions. We'll walk around your house, we'll take your opinion into consideration for where you want your generator to be at. We may also suggest a different placement that we may find to have advantages or maybe less disadvantages. We'll also go through with you a step-by-step -step example of what your house will look like, such as this wall with your transfer switch on it, or what the generator will look like on your house, like this generator here. Every step of the way, we'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have. And when we wrap up the process with you at your home, we will offer a price as well as financing options if you prefer to go that route for your purchase. We then will follow up with a phone call and emails to answer any questions that may have appeared after our consultation. And when you are ready, we will be more than happy to comply with our end of that agreement, answer any questions you have about permit or HOAs, schedule your days for your generator install as well as your electrical installation, coordinate your power outage with your electrical company, and coordinate the gas connection with a licensed plumber for your generator to be connected. We handle everything so you are hands-free as much as possible after you decide where you want your generator to be and also you decide to choose InCharge Electric for your generator needs.